Are you a general contractor, developer, or property manager that subcontracts out most everything? Wouldn't it be great if you can easily and quickly figure out what your final project cost realistically is? Great news, you're in the right spot. Action Associates has the perfect solution for you. Now you can actually say estimating and easy in the same sentence. Hi, I'm Perry Ryder with Action Associates, Senior Estimating Consultant. Along with my 45 years of estimating experience, I've taught thousands of estimators around the world. Throughout that time, I've developed many estimating processes and technologies. With that depth of knowledge, we offer a truly awesome estimating program that's tailored for the general contractor, construction manager, developer, property manager, or even an owner. It's an estimating program that utilizes a nationalized construction database that has pricing for most major cities across the United States and Canada for labor, material, and equipment updated annually. It has man hour or crew hour and equipment hour production rates and is paired with the leading estimating system in North America that is used by most contractors. It's called Sage Timberline SQL or SQL estimating, the leading edge in estimating technology. As contractors, you're always chasing the subtrades to come up with their final price to you, like retail or street number quotes. All estimating systems work or price as if you're the self-performing contractor, which most of you are not. Sage Estimating makes it super easy and fast for you to transform those actual self-performing sub-labor cost numbers from Sage Estimating into the expected sub-retail numbers. Ultimately, you're then ready to assemble your final price for your project. Here's how it works. Before I show you how it works, I would like to illustrate some of the very easy recap views you can have with the click of a mouse. And of course, you can print this way as well. If you would like to analyze your data for both design build development or historical cost analysis, just look at this collapsed view in UniFormat Level 1. Click Expand again and you get to the UniFormat Level 2. Click Expand again and you get to UniFormat Level 3. If you click again, you can easily get to the assemblies with their detail. But look at those cell dollars per square foot. That's great for both design, build, development, or historical cost analysis. You have the option of separating your general conditions as illustrated, or have them spread into the uniformat cell numbers. Crazy good and super easy, right? But there's more. If you're a general contractor and would like to easily see the recap collapsed view by divisional spec section, again, it's just a click of your mouse. Click expand again and you get to your individual spec sections. If you click a few times, you can easily get to the actual cost items. But again, look at those cell dollars per square foot by spec section. That's great for both design build development or historical cost analysis. Let's get back and show you how easy Sage SQL estimating really is. I wanted to start off first by showing you the ribbon bar on the Sage SQL estimating program. That is the ribbon bar, but you could actually have it that way, or you can actually have it uh, with a smaller buttons. And I actually prefer this way, so that's how I'm going to start. Um, and I actually have uh, two estimates. I have one, I would normally hit a new estimate button and it would start a new estimate. As you can see, estimate four was already started. There's nothing obviously in it. And uh, you would just, you would hit file new or just hit that first button. And I would normally start, start estimating by hitting the assembly takeoff button. But I've already started an estimate, so I just want to show you um, some of the things that I've already done and it's populated already the the screen and, and as you can see these items are uh, have a short description but when you point to them they give you the full description we actually have a different type of look um, that you could have many different type of looks you could have and so we save these type of looks we call them layouts and so I'm going to show you the full description where it actually shows you the full description of the items themselves or I could go back and just say hey I'd want to see more information and so now right now I'm looking at a whole bunch of assemblies that I've already done some assembly takeoff so I'm going to hit the assembly takeoff button and now I'm going to jump right on in and I'm going to add to my assembly takeoff so far and I'm this time I want to take off a uh, I, I'm going to want to take off, uh, to illustrate, a 6 inch thick slab on grade uh, and the one that I want or the one I would prefer is one that is reinforced. And so all I just do is double click it or I drag or, and drop into the bottom window and there it is, it's populated. And so now I have a description of the assembly and the assembly 
um, is maybe not described the way I want to describe it for this project. So I'm going to say, hey, this is the east area. And I put my reference to my drawing number that I'm currently working on. And I could now start measuring with a measuring program like eTakeoff or any of the other programs that we sell. Um, or if you would prefer, you could actually type your number right in here, uh, the area, in, ca in this case 15,000 square feet, even though it says length times one, it's going to be 15,000 square feet, and it populates all the quantities, actually it converts to the normal units of measure with their respective pricing, and if you notice at the bottom it's 71,000, I believe 944, uh, divided by the 15,000 square feet is that cost per square foot and that's including labor material and equipment the actual cost and when you see it i'm going to scroll down over here and so you could see the all the detail that got populated for the east area and so we actually have the total man hours uh, in addition to the uh, man hour production rates we'll show you that but right now we're showing you the total man hours as well as your hourly labor costs, and those are blended um, hourly labor costs uh, per man hour because there's different groupings within different crews. And here's the different labor production rates. This is all inclusive in the nationalized database that we have for you. And so uh, now it's going to basically show you the total cost per square foot or the total cost of the system. And that is cost without markups. The yellow column here shows you the total cost inclusive of markups. Um, in essence, your selling price, you might say. And so we could give you the cost per square foot or the total cost, as you can see, pretty easily. Um, and um, what we wanted to also show you was that we have the ability of doing other things, not just concrete, but we could do mechanical, electrical, plumbing, some roadway work. Um, and these are all different types of assemblies that are in the 6,000 plus assemblies in this nationalized database. Um, now it all recaps here to our total screen. So we have total labor material, equipment, sub or other, your total cost. And here's where we have our markups. We call them add-ons. And you just could either put in a percentage or the amount. Uh, they're automatically calculated, but they're changeable in many cases. And you'll see I'm going to start actually changing either the percentage or actually changing the uh, amount and it back calculates either way, a left to right or right to left adjustment. Uh, very, very easy. And uh, I'll just continue making a few different changes, equipment, burden like fuel, maintenance, tires, uh, and of course your overhead and profit on the actual equipment. And this is assuming that uh, we have to burden it so we kind of figure out how much labor, material, and equipment are if a sub was going to be doing it for us. Uh, and then, of course, the general contractor overhead and profit. You could have massaged that, uh, change it, put on, you don't have to have all these markups. You could put on whatever markups you like. Here's our total after markups of 4,020 and your cost per square foot of strictly labor, material, and equipment as uh, uh, $76 per square foot or 114.8 uh, dollars inclusive of markups. Yes, really incredible. Remember, you can now say easy and estimating in the same sentence. This pairing of Sage SQL estimating and a nationalized database is perfect for those companies that subcontract out most everything. We also have many other databases tailored for self-performing contractors as well. As you can see, Action Associates represents industry-leading solutions that will elevate your business to the levels you expect and deserve. I'd be more than happy to discuss these endless possibilities with you. Please call or email me so that I can help make this a reality. Thank you for your time today, and I'm Perry Ryder for Action Associates.